Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody, last class I have completed the quantification issues related to basic events. Today we will start system level quantification and today's topic is the basics of quantification of system safety and one of the method for system safety quantification that is reliability block diagram. So, we will see what are the issues related to system safety quantification. Then we will see first the simple systems and their quantification and then we will describe reliability block diagram and finally, some examples we have seen and I hope that 35 minutes of time we will be able to complete it. And this is this lecture is also taken from the book written by Kumamoto Henle, Probabilistic Risk Assessment and Management for Engineer and Scientist, published by Willy. Now, let us spend some time here that what are the issues that is important for system safety quantification. So, if you recall uh, the fault tree and the finally, the cart set spot fault tree or uh, different kinds of hazards that uh, alone or in combination with different events lead to the top event. So, here the top event is the issue. So, top event is basically system level event. If top event occurs means system level failure occurs. There could be more than one top events. So, in that case, uh, the collectively the quantification will be different, but we are assuming one top event at a time and that sense we are quantifying the system safety. So, like component uh, quantification, component fail safety quantification or component level uh, basic event level quantification. So, in the system level quantification also the parameters are more or less same. So, the parameters of interests are availability, availability, unavailability, reliability, unreliability, system failure density, then uh, your expected number of top events and also unconditional failure intensity for the system and also a mean time to failure for the system. Okay. So, you know all those definitions from component failure point of view. Now, what is unavailability? Unavailability at the system level is that the probability that okay, let us start with availability. Availability the probability that the top event does not exist at time t. At time t system is available. Unavailability at time t system is unavailable that means the probability that the top event exists at time t. Now, what is that top event? It can be it can be for the pressure tank system, it can be the tank rupture, uh, uh, some system can be fire, can some system it may be simple the breakdown of machines and it all it all depends what are the top events you are interested with. Then what is the reliability? Reliability that the probability that the top event does not occur over the time interval 0 to t and then unreliability that probability that the top event occurs before time t. So, I am not uh, stressing more today because these are the definitions that we have already discussed while, while we have discussed the quantification of basic events. 
then uh, then what is the system failure density it is basically the derivative with reference to time for the unreliability then expected number of top events so if you know the unconditional failure intensity for the the system level then this is the formula and we in between t and t plus delta t in such a manner that within this small amount of time only one event can take place and if you are interested to know the expected number of failures within t1 and t2 then this is the formula and what is the mean time to failure here for that the system level expected length of time to the first occurrence of the top event first occurrence of the top event so then this is the formula okay so <coughs> we are using s everywhere to denote that the parameter at the system level or the distribution at the system level okay for component we have not used anything only for availability we have used at for unavailability qt but at system level ast qst rst fst like this okay so these are the issues these are the things you require to quantify at the system level simple system simple system means the system can be represented using and or or gate or maybe and or combinations okay so if the top event is linked with the bottom basic events with and gate you all know what is the probability of the top event occurrence if top event occur at time t then it is basically system is unavailable so as a result we are able to write here qst which is probability of that joint probability i can say the intersection between all the basic event probabilities okay so then this is basically multiplication assuming that the basic events are independent events and in the or gate case what will happen <coughs> we will we will start with uh, if you say the unavailability then unavailability means any one of the basic events if occur lead to the top event occur the top that will be unavailable so union okay so union is important so how do we compute this so then qst will be 1 minus ast where ast is the availability now availability means that uh, if bi is bi stands for that failure then the complement bi bar is success okay so that mean all those basic event that should not occur as basic events we started with fail failure events so then all the success required so that's why our probability intersection of all those then probability of b1 bar into probability b2 bar probability of bn bar as we have assumed that all the events are independent so their probability will be multiplied for the intersection or joint probability and then what is pb1 bar this is nothing but 1 minus pb1 so pb bar if i say p b i bar this is nothing but 1 minus probability b i okay so then ast is computed now you can put here you can find out the qst now let us talk about um, voting gate which is basically uh, gate m m out of n gate so in that case what way you will find out the system unavailability system level unavailability we have discussed uh, that uh, when finding out the cut set uh, 
and that time also we have discussed and in some other classes well quantification gate by gate method and we have discussed that it can be the voting gate can be decomposed into equivalent AND and OR gate and then using gate by gate method you can find out the what is the probability of the top event, top event is nothing but failure of failure event and then this is the unavailability of the top event. So, or here we will just show another approach basically using binomial theorem. So, in order to use the binomial theorem, we will assume that all the basic events are independent that and equal probability all have equal probability q. That means, probability of B 1 equal to probability of B 2 equal to probability of B n equal to q, where q is basically the component level unavailability. Okay. So, then, <coughs> then using binomial theorem, we can write this one that what is what is required for the top event to occur out of n inputs m must occur then top event will occur or m or more getting me if m out of n, n basic events if m or more basic events occur then top event will occur minimum m basic event must occur. Then if, all, if using binomial theorem you know that the probability that that, that out of m m number of m events can occur this is nothing but n choice n choose m out of n basic events choose m number of basic events into q to the power m and 1 minus q to the power n minus m this is what is coming from binomial theorem. So, what the, that means this is the combination part ncm how many combinations possible that means, how many ways you can choose m components out of n given. Then what is q? q is basically the probability that the component is unavailable or component is a failed state. So, that to the power m and then compo and then there is another probability that is basically success probability which is basically 1 minus q. So, the rest will be under success. So, n minus q to the power n minus m. Now, what will happen for the system level unavailability? System level unavailability that means either m or m plus 1 or m plus 2 means m or more number of basic events would occur. As a result, the summation is coming here. So, q s t is k equal to m to n n c k q to the power k 1 minus k to the power n minus k. So, this one summed over k equal to 1 to m all the probabilities are summed. So, that is what is our probability for the in the voting gate when m out of n combinations lead to the top event to occur the unavailability of the system can be computed using this equation provided all the basic event have equal probability of occurring and the basic events are independent in nature. For example, if we choose n equal to 3 and m equal to 2 then the QST will be just putting the k equal to 2 to 3 in this equation you will this equation you will be getting this value 3 q square minus 2 q q. Now, you know what is the q value if q is 0 0.5 you can put here 0.5 then you will get the system unavailability. Okay. So, now let us see that what are the different methods that are techniques that are available to quantify uh, the system level failures or system level unavailability, availability and other system level parameters. So, there are quite a number of approaches available for example, reliability block diagram, truth table, structure function, minimal cut representation, minimal path representation, partial pivotal decomposition or inclusion exclusion formula approach. 
So, today we, in the rest of the time, we will discuss the reliability block diagram. In the next class, truth table, structure function or minimal cut and path representation approach will be discussed. The sole purpose is to find out the top, uh, top event occurrence which is basically unavailability of the system and then resulting availability and other failure parameters quantification. So, let us see what is the reliability block diagram. Now, here we will define two kinds of system one is n component series system and n component parallel system. What does it mean in component series system? That means, for example, you just think of uh, any uh, any machine and which you have created in such a manner that the component one of the component fails mean the system will fail. So, then what happened this can be said that it is in the series one like this. So, under this situation what will be the availability of the system? Availability of the system is that when all the components are available then only the system is available. If any one of the component is unavailable system is unavailable. So, that is why you calculate the availability of the system at time t which is basically probability of that success of the system which is which is basically joint probability by all the component are successful. If B i is the probability of failure for the ith component B i bar will be the probability of success. So, in that sense this one can be written like this as B 1 to B n all events are independent we are multiplying their probable corresponding probabilities and which in this manner can be written. And then what will be the reliability of the system? Reliability of the system is individual component reliability multiplied okay, R S T i equal to 1 to n R i t where R i t is the component level reliability. Okay. When it is a n parallel component in that case what happened? In that case the system will be unavailable if all the components these are simultaneously unavailable. Here what happened if any one component is unavailable system is unavailable. Here if all are unavailable then only system is unavailable. So, as a result the system level failure is basically intersection of all the component unavailability and this can be written like this and finally, you are writing like this. So, then correspondingly FST, RST you can call calculate using these equations. Essentially, these are simple and uh, easy to understand also. I do not think that uh, you will face any problem um, just um, and you will not be lost uh, within these notations. Okay. So, let us see some more related to this. Now, what will happen if the components are having constant failure rate? So, that means, the time to failure is exponentially distributed. Under this situation, what will be the reliability? Reliability will be for component level reliability will be this where lambda i is the, the distribution parameter exponential that um, distribution parameter for the ith component. Then R s t will also be e to the power will be exponentially distributed to the minus lambda s t where lambda is nothing but the sum of the individual component failure parameter lambda. And then obviously, that mean time to failure of system level will be 1 by this. Now, if the same thing is applied, I mean same exponential distribution 
uh, applied to a parallel system where the components failure probability is exponentially distributed with ith component uh, exponential parameter lambda i, then we have seen earlier that this is the equation. And now for for only two com two independent components, we have defined this. So, i equal to 1 and i equal to 2. So, 1 minus i equal to 1 means 1 minus e to the power minus lambda i and when it is i equal to 2, so that is lambda uh, lambda lambda 2. So, that since it is to be understood. Okay. So, from here putting i equal to 1 and i equal to, and i equal to 2 and multiplying the 2 basically this is a multiplication symbol you will be getting this value and MTTF will be this one. So, MTTF is basically system level if you know the system level that will your parameter which is lambda I think we have defined earlier what is lambda lambda dt is basically probability uh, that the component will fail uh, within time t uh, delta t when it was as good as new at uh, when it was normal at time t and as good as new at time t equal to 0. So, those uh, derivations and all those things already given to you in, in earlier uh, lectures. I hope that you will not face any problem. Now, <coughs> now uh, we will see that the difference between reliability block diagram and fault tree. In fact, one is uh, one can can be constructed from the other. If your reliability block diagram is it is a series system, so that means the success of the system will depend on both the system both the components success. This is successful, this is successful then only system will be successful. So, if one of the component fails then the system is failed. So, that is represented in fault tree using OR gate. If B 1 takes place top event will occur, B 2 takes place top event will occur. But when we are what is the difference when we use reliability block diagram we use the success probability when you use fault tree we use the failure probability. So, that means this series system be an OR gate series system in RBD and OR gate in fault tree they are synonyms okay. or once uh, that uh, two sides of the coin basically. Now, if it is a parallel system for reliability blood down that means any one of the system of the component if it is successful the system is successful. So, that means to in order to make the system failure both the component should fail. So, both the component should fail means and get. So, that way you can you any any RBD can be converted to a fault tree and any fault tree can be converted to a RBD where RBD talks about success path and fault tree talk about failure path. That is why we will see later on using RBD we will calculate path set which is basically success path and using fault tree you have already seen we have computed cut set or minimal cut sets. So, one example this is the pressure tank example several times we have discussed what is this pressure tank our issue is pressure tank rupture and considering uh, only the primary failures or the basic events and ignoring the your secondary events the fault tree is simplified to this fault this this kind of fault tree. So, here we have 6 basic events 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have denoted by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but someone can say B 1 and B 1 to B 6 no problem. So, then if this is the fault tree then what is the corresponding 
reliability block diagram you see what will happen what is what in fault tree you see that if the one b1 takes place top event will take place means failure takes place but because of and gate here so at least one from this side and one from this side means either two and four or two and five or two and six or three four three five three six must occur then only then only what will happen this side uh, this and gate condition will be satisfied and this will occur now what do you want using path set path uh, or rbd we want that the pressure tank rupture will not take place now see the condition now if we if one is this one and then 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 this will not occur failure will not occur like this one this this and this if this one one will not occur when one is a primary tank is successfully running then what will happen and also 2 and 3 are successfully running that mean this condition will not be satisfied if this is successfully running this or gate this side is op over that part one is successfully running forget so we have to satisfy this and get part okay now if we say that both 2 and 3 are successfully running so what will happen this this side will be blocked so whatever even all those things fails this and get will not be satisfied so this is one success path this is another success path four bar six bar okay so now <coughs> what we are basically want to do we want to find out the probability of this tank rupture now using this you can find out that probability is 1 intersection this 2 intersection 3 union for all this three and ultimately you will be able to get the that the success success mean there are two paths one this side another this side so both the path probability will will ultimately give you the success probability so <clears throat> now we want to generate the path set so earlier you have generated the cut set means failure path now we want to know the success path so success path here the difference will be in case of cut set we say all other things same alphabetize each gate number each basic event then go in this manner that is what the mukas algorithm in cut set uh, computation you have seen the difference starts here in cut set we say that or gate actually increases the number of cut set and and gate increases the number of elements in a cut set but in case of path set or in case of rb rbd when you go for path set computation any or gate what will happen it get horizontal arrangement in that actually replace or gate by a horizontal arrangement of the inputs to the gate enlarge the size of the path sets and end gate what it will do is increases the number of path sets so if there are and more and gate more path sets will be created so as a result that is what we are doing here so from here to fault uh, rbd also you can find out or from fault tree first gate is this you write this one then what is this gate this is or gate so what it will do it increase the number of elements in the path set what is this element this element is one bar so this is b now b is what gate b is and gate if it is and gate from path set point of view it will increase the part number of path sets so that's why one bar because of the basic event so basic success event means the success of the basic component uh, component level 
so that remain as it is now b will be split but b again you see b is and gate so c and d is coming so that means because of and gate it is increasing the path set now what you require to do you have further decompose you require to decompose c and d c and d both are or gate it will just increase the number of that success events in the path set so if you break c c 2 and 3 is there 2 bar 3 bar for d again what happened d is having 4 bar and e so 4 bar and e you writing again e is another uh, or gate so it will increase the number so that mean 5 and input is 5 and 6 5 bar 6 bar so that mean how many path sets 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar 1 bar 4 bar 5 bar 6 bar so if this one is successful and these two successful this will not uh, that system will be successful or this is successful and this three successful system will be successful okay so that is what is our uh, and what will happen ultimately in this way you decompose and finally you may find out a situation where you have to you have to uh, actually go for minimal path sets by removing supersets the way we have removed the uh, supersets in terms of cut sets finding to find out the minimal cut sets so i i hope that we have given enough explanation to rbd and then fault uh, fault tree and rbd linking here i am just giving another example which we have taken from the kumamoto book this is a system where basically some hot tail gas is coming from calciner and it is basically through booster fan it is coming to this quenching system so where basically water is supplied using two quench pumps b or c and then it then passes through a spray scrubber and this pre scrubber is basically here there is one another pump which basically again further pour water there so water from the bottom of the pre scrubber uh, this is okay this dish and water from the bottom of the pre scrubber is either recirculated by pump e and f so as pump, using pump d water is poured here so at the bottom there will be water that will be recirculated either pump e or f or other way there is a they, they they will be removed to the part stream now there is a mesh mesh pad this is basically to remove the particulates in the gas and finally after removal of this the gases flow to the absorber so what is there then hot gas is coming so going through that quenching system then another water uh, quenching then finally it is basically going through mesh pad for particulates removal and going to absorber and the whatever item falling uh, the water it is basically accumulated here this is either recirculated by this uh, one of the two pumps or it is basically uh, taken out by spar stream so what is the system level objective here the system is designed to decrease the temperature of the hot gas by water quench so because this gas is hot by water quenching you want to decrease the temperature so here you are doing as well as here you are doing then saturate the gas with water vapor so <coughs> so inside gas will be saturated using water vapor then remove solid particles entrained in the gas this mesh pad is doing this purpose now if i want to say what is the system success then all those the three objectives must be fulfilled then it is system is successful any one of the things if not fulfilled then system is a failure so now you can develop a fault tree for this so what is the system failure if any one of the objectives is not uh, fulfilled that is failure so that means booster fan doesn't work that also lead to failure because tail gas will not come here and if the quench either of the quenching pump will not work 
then uh, temperature will not be cooled. It feed water pump does not work, vapor that water saturation will not vapor saturation will not take place. If the either of the pump will not work, then this water will not be taken uh, out for uh, from this prescriber and recirculated. If the power system will not work, then also what is happening that water is not going out. Now, if the mesh pad will not work, particulates will not be uh, removed. So, all those things ultimately means this is not working, one of the two is not working, this is not working, one of the two not working, this mesh pad is not working, all those things finally lead to system failure. So, then what will be the fault tree? The whatever I told in um, uh, verbally or in, in, in description that is what we have written in fault tree. You just see system failure, this T, booster fan failure, coinch pump failure. If both the coinch pump does not work, then coinch pump failure, feed pump failure. If both this circulation pump does not work, then this failure, filter failure, that mesh pad failure. So, if these things happens, only the top event will work. Now, if we want to see the uh, the uh, your successful uh, path or this is basically this gives us the once you uh, use the Mokas algorithm, you will get the cut set from this. Then what will be the success one? Success one we can write like this system success T bar. You see here here we have used when we are talking about system failure we have used OR gate here and AND gate here. When you are going for success OR replaced by AND gate and AND gates are replaced by OR gate. So, that is the uh, different reason success tree that was the fault tree. So, here basic event success or basic event success is the basic event and probability of success will be computed in fault tree probability of failure will be computed. If you use this fault tree and use Mokas algorithm you will get the cut set path sets. If you use the other fault tree that uh, sorry if you use this success tree you will get the path sets. If you use the fault tree you will get the cut sets. Now, this one can be equivalently represented by reliability block diagram. Okay. So, that is what is written here A booster fan, there is OR gate parallel system, then AND this one is basically with AND gate in the series, another OR gate parallel this is uh, with, with AND gate series. So, here series and parallel systems are combined. So, this is a combined system. So, wherever this is the end gate, so series issues are coming. So, if I consider this is together, then this in series to this, series to this, series to this, series to this. Now, this one related to this pump because of OR gate, they are in parallel. If any one of the two is successful, then what will happen? This that that coin spring pump is successful. Similarly, any of the uh, circulation pump is successful, then this is successful. So that is in the parallel parallel system. Okay. Now, using this you can find out the probability, unavailability, reliability, MTTR and all those things the way we have discussed so far. Okay. So, I hope that you understood on this one and I as I told in the beginning we have taken the lecture material from the book written by Kumamoto and Henle. Please go through this chapter uh, system safety issues, quantification of system safety and go through the video lecture if and also participate in the discussion forum. Thank you very much.